Well, back at it again with another renovation. You might remember the last time I flipped a property was in Bergen Lafayette in Jersey yeah, City. And uh, we just finished selling that in January. And uh, holy cow, did I learn a lot from that project. There were headaches literally from day one. So if you're considering flipping property, um, here are three things that every investor needs to know. Uh, one, it will likely end up over budget, behind schedule, and in cases like this, you're gonna have to fire your contractor. In this situation, I had to fire two contractors. So even though the project made money, um, you know, we bought it for 315,000, it sold for over 725,000. Um, there was a huge cost associated with the extra time that it took to build, uh, which ended up being about seven months behind schedule. Um, and, you know, the exhausting amount of effort and resources that were used to finish the project almost made it seem like it wasn't even worth it. Um, however, we did make a profit and I got a great education. So this is now my sixth project and moving forward, I'll never invest in real estate the same way. So I want you to learn from the mistakes that I made and you know, see how I'm gonna do this moving forward. So for this property, I'm only going to sell it if the price it would sell for completely knocks my socks off. Otherwise, I'm keeping it as a rental. Um, with that being said, let's, uh, let's go take a look at the new project and I'll show you what I'm doing. As we walk in here, you can see we've already started the demo process, uh, removed the drop ceilings. Uh, we took the drywall off here, and as long as that's not a load-bearing wall, that's gonna come down. Uh, you'll see we are definitely replacing all the hardwood. We got nice 10-foot ceilings once we removed the drop ceiling. That was a nice bonus. This to the right here is gonna be a nice, almost walk-in pantry. And I know you probably love that lime green color, but that's changing. We're gonna come back to the kitchen because the kitchen and the bathroom is where we're gonna be spending the majority of our finances on this project. This is gonna be a nice high-end bathroom with a pocket door rather than an in-swing. Now, what's gonna be over here is the formal dining area. And uh, once again, you can see we're gonna be changing those ceilings, electrical. Contemplating keeping this as closet space because the more closet space, the merrier. Uh, we'll be placing that drywall ceiling and then this is gonna be a walk-in storage room in the in the, uh, the walkway there. Obviously this backyard's gonna get all cleaned out. We're gonna throw some grass back there and uh, let's go back to where we're gonna spend most of our monies, which is the kitchen. Now what we're trying to figure out here is how we're gonna fit a full-size refrigerator and create as much counter space with the stove as possible. So you can see we're measuring that out. We may have to move that doorway um, on this side, the plan is to, if we can, knock it down and then create a breakfast bar area right there. And then the rest will be countertop space and cabinetry. Um, that's what everybody wants, that open feeling. So you can see on this side, we're going to try and raise this door frame up to make it feel a little bit larger. And that's what we're looking to accomplish. So thank you for watching and I'll keep you posted.